What is up, my Destruction Zone DJs? It's Chris with Tabletops and Tentacles, here with Dead Air, a game about radioactivity. <laughs> radioactivity. Uh, Dead Air is a solo RPG about radio after the apocalypse. It's from uh, Fiona Ruthven, and it's an RPG about running a radio station after nuclear Armageddon. It's about 30 pages long, it's just a nice solid zine size, but it looks like found documents with handwritten notes and like actual operations manuals and like notes about how to run the, the radio station and play the game. And it just, I, I'm all in on this. It, it hits my everything <laughs> as far as what I'm interested and in, enjoy doing. It's got the aspect of running a radio station where you can record yourself as you're playing the solo RPG, which always adds that little extra element to it that's both great from a performance standpoint, but also not necessary if you don't like doing it. Um, it has the ephemera aspect that I love from handmade and hand-altered items. I'm a big Fallout fan, so I'm always down with finding wastelanders to do my duties if possible. In the game, the powers that be have decided they want to broadcast over the wasteland and you're lucky enough to have been selected to undertake the task. At the start of the game, you'll be issued a remit. For example, broadcast a message of hope to a certain number of settlements by a certain turn, while also making sure that the filthy outlanders hear of the immense power of our fully functional government. I love this little tweak to the thing. You're not just uh, rebel radio, you're not three dog out there just playing music to entertain people. You have kind of a little extra jab in there from the actual government itself. And I love the idea that this is your job and part of the reasoning in doing it is to survive because you don't want to get reassigned to to dingo duty out in the desert somewhere where life expectancy is much lower. Each turn is broken into different phases where you manage your broadcast equipment, send out runners to scavenge for fuel, equipment, and valuables like clean water. And then there's also the broadcast content where you write a script or interview somebody or talk about a certain location or thing. And this is all done through this little 30 page zine and a deck of cards. And I'm really into this. Not only does the, the page design and the layout and the idea all just absolutely appealed to me on almost every single level. But the house I'm in right now, um, I've been going through like the, all of the stuff that the previous owners left and they left all of these like old radio magazines from 1926 and stuff. So I've been really into the whole broadcast radio, ham radio, indie radio station stuff anyway. So this is like, this is like hitting the spot for me perfectly this month. I'm very excited about it. It's already funded. It's still got a, about a week and a half left. You can get the PDF for about $9. You can get the print and PDF for 13. There was a collector's edition that I'm really bummed I missed out on because there were only 100 available, but it also included uh, scavenged playing cards that were in universe set and some wasteland ephemera and detritus and everything. So I'm bummed I missed the collector's edition, but I think that the physical copy of it looks amazing. And this is from first time creator Fiona Ruthven, so I'm very excited to see it do as well as it is. This is what Zine Quest is all about, is just quirky, unique, unusual RPGs. Bonus for me if they're solo, and go check it out. You can find links below. You can look for Dead Air, a game about radio activity on Kickstarter. And as always, thank you for supporting indie creators, and may you live in interesting times.